Okay, we are going to look at some searching algorithms. And we have two types, the linear and the binary search. So, what is the question? The question is given a list, find a specific item in the list. And the type, two types we have linear search, sequential search, that means you start from the beginning till you find what you are looking for. And the other one is a binary search, it is like the dictionary or a telephone directory. You don't actually search all thing, you just divide into divide and conquer in that case. So let's look at linear search. And in this case the data is unsorted. You don't know where the data will be, it could be in any order. Given a list, find a specific element in the, in the list. Okay. And the procedure is pretty simple. You given an array, x, uh, x is a, the item to find an array of a1 to a n integers <coughs> and you start at 1 and keep going forward till while x is not equal to ai and if it's still less than n equal to n you, f you found it otherwise you say found equal to 0 pretty simple and then just the uh, same way of writing it again the procedure algorithm and suppose x is 3 in this case and you are looking for x and the array is this array in this case uh, at this point you should be able to find it so let's see the animation how it works you start with 1 it's not equal to i equal to 1 i is less than n and i is not equal to a i 3 is not equal to 4 then i equal to i plus 1 and go back you look at this one keep doing that till you find keep going forward it's just if the while loops keep going and then eventually you come to 3 you found it location is equal to 8 ok and you are done and the same thing again with another array in which uh, case 11 is not in the array, x is 11, 11 and a 1 to a n, 11 is not there. So, you will go from here to the end, you will have to cover the whole array and then finally say not found. Ok, so it is going around one by one looking at each element and algorithm till at the finally you exceed n and you skip this thing and you come here, not let, it is greater than n, so you come here location is 0 so you did not find it in this case the complexity was altered n you have to cover all the elements scan the whole thing to not find it so the the linear search running time how long does it take so then the n elements and then it takes worst case it takes n steps worst case means if it is not found it takes n steps if it is in the first one it takes in one shot but you do not know where it is so you do prepare for the worst case and a step is considered to be one step to the list. It doesn't really matter how much time you spend in stepping through a step. And now we look at a faster one, the binary search, which is a logarithmically faster than the linear search. Again, given a list, the list must be sorted in this case. And each iteration you cut the list in half. So here's the algorithm. You're looking for x and a1 to a n and increasing uh, order then a left endpoint 1 and the right endpoint is n and while left is less than the right you keep find a midpoint i plus j by 2 uh, the floor of that and then if x is greater than the midpoint then you then you move the left point to m plus 1 otherwise you move the right point to m you cut the thing into half and then finally when you finish with this loop when i is equal to j or greater than equal to j you come here and then x x is point is equal to ai then you found it otherwise it's not found so in this case it's log to the base 2 of n the complexity because you're dividing by half every time same as before the input and the algorithm is the interface is the same and you start x is 14 this is array sorted array so let's see how it works i is 1 
j is n now i less than j so we come here m is the midpoint uh, 1 plus 10 11 by 2 is 5 point, uh, 5.5 and floor is 5 then x is greater than a m x is 14 is greater than a m then i this i should be m plus 1 that means you move the i is on this side so you move this i pointer to a6 and then you start again again compute the midpoint the midpoint of this is 16 at a8 and again in this case x is not greater than am so you you move the j to m j will come to 16 okay in this case now again you come back i is less than j so again you take the midpoint the midpoint is this one a7 m is 7 and x is greater than am 14 is not so it comes to again j will come here so j will be moved to 4 this case j moves to e7 then you come back here i less than j find a midpoint and midpoint is 6 and is x x is 14 less than am 12 no so j is i is actually no. in this case x is more so uh, so i moves to m plus 1 which is 7 and then you come back now i is not less than j they both are pointing to the same thing so you come out and if x uh, 14 is equal to a i a i is 14 then look you found it ok that's algorithm they so found so assume your list is sorted so it takes a lot of time to sort how much time does it need to sort and log in but once it's sorted it takes very fast so if you're going to repeatedly search you need to sort it and this is a divide and conquer algorithm okay and apply to the smaller list in worst case it takes l log in to the base 2 steps when is the size of the list and base 2 because we are using our division by 2 Suppose let's look at example. It has eight elements in the list. First time it, it takes three steps, uh, and if it has sixteen elements, it takes four steps. Sixty-four it takes six steps, and elements log to n. Okay. So the comparison is comparing n and log n of sequential search versus order n versus binary search. Worst case of log n. So you can see the log n is actually the inflection. It goes moves very slowly. And this is linear, so it just doesn't move up at all. Log n, but linear is just uh, slope is one. For n, it doesn't really matter out here, but at ten, it takes thousand steps. Uh, for and log n takes ten steps. For a million elements, it takes only twenty steps. A billion, it takes thirty steps. So it's really fast for large values of n. Smaller doesn't matter. Okay, that's the end of it.